Can you think of a time in your life when you reached a goal or you realized a dream? Do you remember how it felt? Do you remember that feeling that you get when you get to the top of the mountain? This week, my son, who is 24 years old, uh, realized a huge dream of his and he got delivered. He went to go pick up his brand new Tesla. Uh, something that he's been after for a long time, something that he's been working towards for a long time. And uh, I can't tell you the difference that I see in my son having him uh, now be in a place where he's realized this dream. Uh, I asked people this week. I, I, I did a little bit of a, an interview process with a few people and asked them how they feel when they realize a dream. And I got answers like, they felt like it was even hard to believe, that they felt like they were someone who uh, had absolutely reached <laughs> the church bells, who had absolutely reached uh, a culmination in their life, a, a, a pinnacle, uh, almost feeling like too, the answers I got were that anything is possible. Once they reached that dream, that thing that they thought that they could never achieve, they started to think and realize that uh, if I did this, I wonder what else I can do. You start to feel that if you believe in something is another answer that I got and you got it, want it badly enough, then you can actually make it happen. And it starts to make you think about what else you can have, how you can dream more, uh, how you can dream bigger. The definition of a dream in the dictionary is an unrealistic or self-deluding fantasy. I don't feel that dreams are that. I think a dream is a reality that's um, waiting for you to get there. I'm here. I don't know if you, how long you've all been following me. I've been in Italy now for 11 weeks today. What's behind me is uh, I'm at the top of Modica and I'm at the, it's called the Belvedere di Modica. And when I um, decided to accept the opportunity to come and uh, live out this experience here in Italy, uh, I looked for a photo of this town that I knew I was coming to and I posted a photo of a woman standing in front of this very background and here I am today standing in front of the background uh, with extremely amazing feelings. I keep going back to my son because this week a, a kid who was pretty, you know, I don't want to say antisocial because he's a social kid, but he's a kid who kind of keeps to himself and is not really extremely self-expressed. I asked my, my daughter and my mom to send me a video of him as he picked up the vehicle and he was dancing and happy. The other day I talked to my mom and she said he was singing in the car. A kid who normally was by his computer, he's very dedicated to his work, uh, has been spending a lot of time sitting on the veranda outside, asking people if they want to take a look at the car. Obviously there's a lot of pride in what he's accomplished but it seems like he's completely transformed into a different human being when you realize a dream that's exactly what happens i'm here i'm you know at a little bit further a long way in my life and uh, i've changed the things that i believe in change the things that i love have changed who i am has changed and they've all changed because i've made these dreams come true and who i am for myself even though I knew myself as someone who could accomplish great things before, has tripled, quadrupled, multiplied 10 times. Also too, I've accomplished dreams inside of this beautiful dream that I'm living. So I'm making dreams come true inside of the dream that I'm making come true. So it's you know about a lot of different things, who you are for yourself knowing yourself to be someone that can accomplish anything, anything great. Why do I do this? It's because I want to feel this way. And it all started in 2007 when I was introduced to a concept called a dream big worksheet that I later transformed into a dream book, which I've been living my life by. It's my guiding principle. I have a list of 50 things that I want to do before I kick the bucket, before I die. And when I accomplish those things, I tear them out of my, the page out of my dream book, I put it in the back and I replace it with something new. You can all do this too. 
But there's something to be said about how you dream and what you even think is possible for yourself. So in my Future by Design workshop, that's exactly what we do. We don't only come up with a dream book. We don't only come up with a list of dreams, but we look at all of the different things that are stopping you, the things that you think are what you believe in, the values, the morals, the different areas of your life that you have challenges in that aren't working. And we look at why and we look at what it is that's stopping you and how it is that we can overcome those things. Because until you understand those things, you can come up with dreams. But once you know what's stopping you, then everything is different. In order to make your dreams come true, an action is required. My son had to take many actions in order to realize his dream. I had to take, God knows, many, many actions in order to make my dreams come true. Even really drastic actions. I sold my home. I uh, moved. I had to manage so many things in order to realize my dreams. But it was easy to let go of those things when I knew that what I was after was something much, much bigger. And I can't tell you how I feel right now. So I want you to think about a time in your life when you realized a dream or when you realized a goal and see if you can manage to muster up or remember how it is that you felt. And if you want to feel that way all the time, then possibly filling it, your life with all of your dreams, filling your future with your dreams, with your passions, because your dreams are full of your passions and the things that you love and the things that you desire and the things that are really important to you. That's what you need to do and that's what you want to do. Imagine if you could live a life if your future was based on not what was predisposed or what was handed down to you, but on something that you've designed. I've created my future. I've designed my future. And it's bigger and brighter than I ever thought it would be before because even here, I've had other opportunities that have now come up for me, which have completely changed and will completely change the, traje the trajectory not only of my life, but of the lives of all of the people around me, the people that I love and the people that are important to me. So I'm going to end this with an invitation. I'm going to end this with an invitation for you to start to create your future. And that requires an action. So below this post, you are going to see for the first time today, a link to my Future by Design course, which is happening this September 25th. It's a full day course. If you check out the link, you'll get all the information on what it is that we cover. You'll see some testimonials from people that have taken the course and the things that they've realized and what it's done for them in their lives. And I, I leave you with this. If you could feel the way that you felt when you realized that dream or that goal every single day, what would that be worth to you? And what action and what actions do you need to take in order to fulfill on that? The first one might be clicking on that link and registering for Future by Design so that you can start to design your future with somebody like me behind you that's going to make sure that it's possible and tell you continually that it's possible, but also, more importantly, give you some steps and a pathway of how you can make it happen. So hope to see you on September 25th. If you're interested in creating a future as beautiful as this one, then maybe this click will be the best and most important click of your life.